everyone, it's me Tim and today I'm doing another gear review and this time we're going to be talking about a survival kit from Survivewear. And I'm pretty excited about this thing. I think this is probably going to replace my small first aid kit from them. And I'm going to tell you why right after this. Okay, like I said, we're going to be talking about the survival kit from Survivewear, and I think this is going to be really perfect for ADV riders and motorcycle travelers in general. Uh, but I think more specifically, there's some things in here that I think are going to come in very handy if you're out in the woods, uh, either camping or riding off road. Uh, there's some really neat features in here. Now, this is not a cheap kit. This is coming in at $75. There are two color options, this black one, and they also have a red. I kind of like the black. I think it looks a little slicker, um, but they do have a red if you want it to be a little easier to find in your saddlebags because there are some first aid type stuff in here that we're going to talk about in a second. Now, if you're familiar with the small first aid kit from Survivewear, this kit comes with the same supplies plus some extra stuff that's going to come in really handy. It is MOLE compatible. It's water resistant. The dimensions, if you're concerned about pack size, it's coming in at 12 inches by eight inches by six inches, and it weighs just about three pounds. It's not light, but considering it would replace your small first aid kit, which probably weighs about a pound or a little bit more, you're not really adding too much weight for the extra stuff you're getting. And Survivor will offer free shipping for anything over $25, and this definitely fits that bill. So before I jump much further into this video, I do want to say in the spirit of full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. As some of you may know, Survivor has been a supporter of this channel for quite some time. They're a small family owned business. I absolutely love their products and I'm super excited about this new piece of gear that they're letting me test out. Now let's go ahead and jump into what is inside this kit. So the kit itself is a 600D polyester bag. Inside here we have a CPR pouch, a one-way breathing mask, six inch shears, tweezers, an emergency blanket, a whistle, a triangular bandage, tape, eye pads, crepe bandages, PBT conforming bandages, alcohol wipes for cleaning up any wounds or utensils, antiseptic wipes for applying to wounds, sting relief wipes, which I definitely could have used last week when I was getting attacked by mosquitoes at my campsite, butterfly bandages, strip wound closures, knuckle bandages and more bandages, cotton swabs, q-tips, safety probes. Also in here are some splinter removal probes. Now I actually really prefer these over regular tweezers uh, for getting out any kind of splinters. They seem to work a lot better. Of course, like I said, there is also a pair of tweezers in here which comes in handy for pulling splinters and other things. So if you have a preference, you can pretty much choose either one. There's some cotton balls, medicine baggies for any kind of normal medications. I actually add anti-diarrhea pills, uh, antacids, some cold medicine, some ibuprofen and things like that. Just general travel medicine that's good to have. There's little baggies in here so you don't have to carry a big bottle of pills with you and just kind of carry what you need for the time you're on the road. And another thing that's pretty cool is that they include a pack of their wet wipes in here. Now, this is something that definitely comes in handy if you're out camping. Uh, for just washing yourself down, going to the bathroom. Uh, they're biodegradable. I've done reviews on these and they're really, really awesome. They're super durable and rugged. Uh, they really do a great job and they don't tear very easily. So no matter what you're cleaning up, they do a good job. So most of that stuff is what is in the first aid kit with the exception of, I think, just the wet wipes. Um, everything else is in their smaller first aid kit. So now let's go ahead and get into the stuff that isn't in the first aid kit and is specific to this survival kit. These are some things that I'm really excited about and I think you're going to come in very handy for ADV riders and motorcycle campers. So there is a knife. Now as some of you know I was in Mexico recently and I had intended on doing this review while I was down in Mexico and I couldn't bring that knife into Mexico with me because they're not legal there. So I had to get rid of that but it is a really really nice knife, uh, very high quality. It's a nice locking blade uh, folding knife. Comes in handy for an, just an absolute ton of different things around camp, in survival situations, first aid type stuff, uh, all kinds of things. I mean, you could even split logs with this knife. Now, there's also a multi-tool in here. Now, this is gonna come in really handy, but if you're packing a full tool kit, I'd say you might wanna ditch that just to shed a little bit of weight off of the three pounds of this kit. Um, but it does come in really handy, especially if you don't have any other tools with you. There's also some glow sticks, which would definitely come in handy if you happen to be stuck on the side of the road at night, or you were trying to flag somebody down to get help. Uh, definitely not a bad idea to have a few of those with you. 
Also a poncho. Again, if you have rain gear for riding, you might not need this uh, and you might want to leave this one at home. But this poncho could also be used to make shift a shelter and a few other things. So uh, it doesn't weigh too much. I'd probably leave that in there. Just, you know, a lot of things you could do with that in a survival situation or even just building an you know, like a tarp shelter to kind of hang out under if it happens to be raining or something. Uh, there is a signaling mirror. Again, that's going to be nice if you're trying to get somebody's attention, especially out here in the desert. Uh, we have a lot of wide open land where you could maybe see a car coming from miles away and they might not see you and know that you need help. Uh, having a signaling mirror is a nice way to get somebody's attention. So there is a wire saw in here and I've actually talked about these in past videos. I got a little bit of criticism for that because as we all know or may know, Wire saws typically don't stay sharp for very long. However, I'm gonna stand by saying that this is an excellent piece of gear to include in this kit, especially for ADV riders or even just motorcycle campers. Now, I'll give you an example of when this would have come in handy for me. A few months ago, I was on a trail and I came, in, I came across a downed tree that was completely blocking my path. And I couldn't get around it because it was on a slope. So I couldn't have gone this way because it was a drop off and up here was just basically a wall. If I had had a wire saw with me, even if all it did was clear a few branches out of the way, I would have been able to keep going. But instead I had to turn around, backtrack 30 miles, and then drive a few hours to go around what would have just been a few more miles down a trail. Uh, so even if it only lasts a few times and only clears a few trees out of your path, I'd say it's definitely worth carrying. And not only that, but even just around camp, it's gonna help you you know, it's not going to cut massively big trees, but it will help you collect some bigger chunks of firewood, things that are kind of medium size that you can't necessarily break with your boot or your hands. Uh, of course, you can collect, you know, little sticks and twigs with your hands, maybe snap some bigger stuff with your foot. Uh, but to get some slightly bigger chunks of firewood, having a wire saw is definitely going to help with that. Uh, aside from that, there's also a paracord bracelet. There's a ton of good things you can do with this. Hanging a clothesline, building a shelter. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you happen to get stuck in the mud, you can use it as a tire chain where you kind of wrap the, the paracord through the spokes horizontally around the tire. Uh, it's, it's a one-time use if you use it for this because as soon as you spin that tire, it's going to shred the rope. But it could potentially get you unstuck out of a muddy situation. So there's so many things you could use a paracord bracelet for. So having an extra little strip of that definitely doesn't hurt. And the final thing that's in here is a flashlight. Now, most of us are probably already carrying a headlamp of some type and we could always use our phone, although we might not want to be draining our battery to use the phone's flashlight. It's not a bad idea to have a nice slim little tactical flashlight uh, as a backup option if something was to happen to your headlamp. Uh, so not a bad idea to have an extra flashlight in there. So that's everything that's in the kit. I do want to take a quick minute, just talk a little bit about my opinion of it, how I think it's put together and and all of that. And then before we end this video, I do also want to take a few minutes to talk about another piece of gear from Survivor, And this is their new completely waterproof uh, first aid kit. It's the large first aid kit, but it's totally waterproof. Uh, it's pretty impressive. So we're going to test that out and talk a little bit about that. So as far as the survival kit, I think one of my favorite things about it is how well put together and well thought out everything is. I love the labeling on everything that makes everything super easy, not only to find, but to restock after the fact. So in other words, if you have a situation where you're pulling things out of here for a first aid situation and you get home from that trip and now you're not necessarily sure exactly what you used, well, it's really easy to just look in the kit and see exactly what's missing. Uh, so it's easy to replace things down the line. I love that they included wet wipes in this kit and a little spot for them. Uh, because even though I would have a separate supply of wet wipes for my normal situations, um, you know, cleaning up at camp and, and stuff like that, I even use them to wipe down dishes before I wash them just to get the heavy stuff off. Um, but having an extra set just in here specifically for survival situations and emergency situations, I think is a really smart idea. I love the quality of all the tools. I think everything is super well built. They didn't cheap out on this kit. Um, there's just a lot of nice touches. The pocket knife is very well made. The scissors, the shears um, are very, very well made. I like the, the little hand saw. That's pretty awesome. The flashlight's a nice touch. All of the first aid kit included in the survival kit. Um, this being able to completely replace 
and outdo my small first aid kit. I think this is an absolute winner. It is water resistant, so even if you had this thing strapped to the outside of your bike, uh, somewhere easy to get to, because um, especially if you're like me and you travel alone a lot, if you fall off your bike and you get hurt, having your first aid kit buried in the bottom of your bag probably isn't gonna do you a lot of good. If you have soft bags where you can strap this to using the Moly um, connections, it's right there easy to get to. Well, if you have that and you're riding around with it out and exposed like that, you don't really have to worry about it raining or anything. Um, if you dropped your bike in a river, you might get a little bit of water in here though. One other thing I would say is that some of the pockets are a little bit hard to get stuff in and out of. Um, like the signaling mirror, for example, you gotta kinda shove your fingers in there and kinda squirrel it out. However, I will say that the things that are super important and would be needed in an absolute emergency, those things are pretty easy to get out. So it's, um, you know, they really jam packed a lot of stuff into this kit. So I think that kinda justifies why some things are not super easy to get out. But for the most part, the stuff that's really important is easy. Like these um, glow sticks, they're kind of a pain to get out. But I don't think you're gonna need those you know, instantly right this second in a situation. Whereas you might need bandages immediately. Those are super easy to get to. So that's kind of it for the survival kit. Uh, can't really think of anything else to say about it. It's a pretty solid option, especially if you don't have a first aid kit yet. I would strongly suggest considering this in place of a first aid kit because it has everything the first aid kit would have plus some extra stuff that's definitely gonna come in handy. So let's go ahead and take a quick minute to talk about this waterproof first aid kit. So we're not going to talk too much about what's inside this first aid kit because it's exactly the same as their original large first aid kit which i've talked about in other videos um, it's jam-packed with first aid kit type stuff i would say this is absolutely perfect if you're traveling in a group it is a little bit overkill if you're traveling alone um, but if you're traveling with several other people and you're kind of splitting up gear maybe one person has the kitchen stuff one person has the you know chairs or something and one person has the first aid kit uh, this is a perfect option for that kind of scenario. So as far as it's waterproofing, it has welded seams as opposed to stitching and glue. That's what's going to keep it so waterproof. It's got a watertight zipper and it can actually be kept underwater for 30 minutes up to one meter. I really like this feature because like I was just saying, if you're traveling alone or even if you're traveling with other people, you don't want this thing being buried. So having it somewhere easy to access just strapped outside of, you know, maybe your duffel bag or one of your side cases. Uh, I think that's really awesome that you have absolutely no concerns with the, the, the contents of this first aid kit getting wet whatsoever in any kind of torrential rain or downpour. You're not gonna get any water through this. Even if you dropped your bike in a river, it's still gonna be good. So I think that's a really awesome feature of a first aid kit when you're considering motorcycle camping. Uh, or motorcycle travel in general. Um, so I'm really impressed with this thing. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead and throw it in the tub and see how waterproof it actually is. Anyways, that is it for this video. I will definitely leave a link in the description box down below for Survivor's website. They're a really awesome company. I appreciate them supporting this channel. They've been really good to me and they have some awesome, awesome products. So go show them some love, check out what they got going on on their website. I just checked this morning and they do have wet wipes in stock. So if any of you guys are low on toilet paper, it's not a bad option. You might not want to be flushing too many of those down the toilet though. Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you got something out of this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the bell, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ride safe.